Welcome to today's... <clears throat> uh, I need to figure out something to do with my mic. I can't get the placement right. I can't get my audio right. It just comes and goes, and uh, it's it's really bothersome. I need like an arm or something to hold it. But anyways, today's video, it's going to be about animation and timing and frames. Uh, this is another community request, and we are going to use Kung Fu Man. My general logic to this, and this will save you the rest of the video, is if they have a lot of animation frames, you need less time. Time is located here. And if they have very few frames, you need more time. And there's something you can also do if they have a, a weird set of sprites. Sometimes characters have two or three sprites for an action, and it looks pretty bad, but you can hide it with an X-Plot to make it look better. So uh, we're going to start off with Kung Fu Man here. Uh, if you notice on the right side, he has five, six frames of animation. And um, played here, it plays all six frames. Now what's important is the time here. Essentially, if I set all of them to the same time, which I have to save this so I can undo it afterwards. If I set it all to five ticks, he's just going to play his animation fast. Sometimes that's not the look you're trying to go for. So his default way is the first term is 10 ticks and then 7 and then 45 ticks on the 6th frame. And this gives it a pause. So it makes it look like he's stopping for a second and then he's going back up and he's stopping. And the last frame is going to count towards the first frame also. At least that's how his stance is. So if you look at it, he's breathing. And you can see his mouth moving to simulate that. Now, Kung Fu Man has only six frames of sprites. Some characters have insane amount of sprites. This is a Street Fighter V Ryu by the author, uh, author uh, Mr. Ian Violin Ken. Love that name, by the way. And he has a unknown amount of work put into him. He has 555 sprites for his stance alone. This is all stance. Actually, if you look here, it has 43 for the stance, but he has a, a secondary stance. So I'll play this one. And this is buttery smooth. I don't know the technology they use to get these from the game and to make it look so good, but it's phenomenal. But as you can see, it's it's a looped framed animation, so it's going to loop over when it hits max back to 3 something. And just goes back and forth over and over. It looks slow here in Fighter Factory, but it doesn't always look slow in game. It's going to take a while to load. It's a good character. And you see, he is still kind of slow. But it, it does play a little bit faster in the game, I noticed. At least I think it does. I could It could be wrong. I could be seeing things. I, I am getting old. But it, it's just pretty amazing. So with, when you have so many frames, you have to use time one. Because there's so many frames to go through. The game works at 60 frames a second, which is um, usually uh, one tick. Uh, sorry, 60 ticks is uh, one second. So it's it's playing at least this many here, these first few in one second, or at least trying to, trying the best to. Not to mention this is a, a HD character, so it's it's he's huge. Like this is his size, this is Kung Fu Man size. Like this here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Kung Fu Man's like up to here for this guy. But that's the difference in the uh, animation. Um, less sprites, bigger time, bigger ticks. Uh, m more sprites, less time. And now here's a look at Sakura. She has much less uh, frames. She has three frames for her stance. So because she has less frames, I'm using a high time, like nine. If I used all threes, it would look like this. It looks horrible. So I'm putting it back to nine. 
And there's something I want to show with Sakura particularly. This is my Sakura. I never released her. Um, but going back to Kung Fu Man. So if you notice the way Kung Fu Man breathes, he breathes up and down. Another play with animation is you can do it so they look like they're shaking. So I'm going to copy this and paste it. And I'm just going to go back and forth with the animation. So it'll be four, three, four, three, two, three, two, three. And this will look like he's shivering or shaking. You know what? This looked better in my head. You know what? It looks better going the other way than going up his body. <laughs> Yeah, if he's going down, it would look like that. But I, I did this before with some characters. It's like for an evil version of a character. You have them shake like, <sighs> you know, just like shake their whole body as they stance in whatever way they stance. But I digress. But anyways, going back to Sakura. So uh, she doesn't have a lot of sprites. So most of it's kind of... Um, Again, I'm using Eichmann Go to test this to slow the engine down. She has one, two. She has two sprites for attack and one re two recovery frames. So it's almost instant. It doesn't look very good when it's so quick. So what you can do when you have less frames is add some kind of effect, like this whoosh effect here. <clears throat> the whoosh effect can kind of mask the lack of frames. And it's kind of hard to tell if you should put forward or back. In this case, this is her backhand because it's behind her body. Actually, no, it's this one. Um, so I put the effect behind her. If it's a forward hand, I would put it in front of her. Like, see this one. So even though this is only two frames to get here, this effect makes it look better. It makes a little transition. Oh, this is also notorious. Like one, uh, what is this? Like one, two, and then three, and that's it. So adding the little effect can make a big difference with how the uh, outcome is. I forgot how this character plays. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was having fun with it. Also, for a move like this, where she pounds the ground. Adding the effect here like this also kind of, it looks like she's pushing her hand really fast into the ground. It's a nice little illusion. I thought they gave her a super, I guess not. But anyways, yes, effects are definitely what helps when you have no uh, animation. And that's pretty much all there is to it, really. You have to figure out how your character is going to stance. I always tell people, imagine you're that person and you, you do it yourself. You put yourself in that character's stance and you think, how would my body breathe and react to these moves? How would I do this? And then you do it yourself and it gives you an idea of like, okay, so if I'm moving forward, my leg should be this way or my arm should be this way or I'm taking a breath, I should go up this way. And that helps you decide on positioning everything and then timing is how you want it to be if the character is breathing you usually pause at the apex which is a full lung full chest and then it goes down to nothing in the lungs and that's also another pause so it'll be like say three ticks movement up pause at the top for 10 ticks three ticks moving down uh pause at the bottom for 10 ticks so up down up down, which is what Kung Fu Man pretty much has here, as you can see. Up, down, shake, up, down. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's how you would decide how you want to do your timing. Um, again, I, I, I've said it before, but again, more animation, less time, less animation, more time. And that's all. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned, more to come.